So, Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person, Six of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands, it actually signals victory. So, if you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebrations. You could be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or maybe you're receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands makes you feel really, really good about yourself. You could feel as if you've got a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Now, so the Ten of Wands, well, with this card, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. As you can see in the picture, Ten of Wands is the card below the word pass. This man, he's walking forward with all these wands in his hands. Yeah, he's walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards, so... You may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you can lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden that you're carrying, emotionally, it actually belongs to someone else. So, it's going to be important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. So, the energy that I'm getting for most of you Libras for the recent past energy for you and your person six of wands clarified by this ten of wands yeah you you're dealing with someone who you you had a lot of victory with it felt like a successful connection there was a lot of chemistry a lot of chemistry because when the Six of Wands talks about relationships, it's a, it's a deep connection. It suggests that you, maybe you're the type that needs, needs someone to boost your ego, while the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This type of energy between two people, it's called fire of balance. So the two of you feed off of each other energetically. With this type of chemistry or magic, you get a lot of sexual energy. And there's passion and long nights spent in bed. Yeah, so it was kind of like you two mirror each other. They knew what you were thinking, and you knew what they were thinking. If you were thinking about them, and they didn't know it, they were probably thinking about you. To me, the Six of Wands, it reminds me of that twin flame type of energy. Or, or a really deep, deep soulmate. Yeah, so, you, you were in a really, really, a deep connection. I would say so. Or, a connection that, there was a lot of chemistry. Could have been just a lot, a lot of powerful chemistry. But then something happened. I don't know what it was. I just read the cards and I pick up on the energy. It's showing that it just, the connection became very difficult. You could have felt like you were giving too much of your emotional energy to this person. Something happened. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the star card. And it's with the page of wands. Now with the star card, you could find yourself feeling inspired, more hopeful about the future than you have felt in a while. So you could feel that your um, confidence is increasing, whether it's emotional or financial, your needs are being met. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted, but with the star card, it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. So 
This could also be a spiritual card where you could find yourself, at least for a time, feeling at one with all of creation. And it's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it. Now, it's with the Page of Wands. Page of Wands can be warm, ambitious, high achievers. If this is not an actual person, it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So it's important to try to stay focused. It could be that some things you started some time ago, they're starting to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page, it actually brings a positive energy, but, but because of the energy of easy distraction the page has and having a hard time staying focused, you have to supply the follow through. So what I'm getting coming up for the two of you is that, like I said, you're starting to feel like the relationship is difficult for some reason. Yeah, so your person, it looks like it could be reaching out to you. There's maybe some communication coming in with this page of wands. Maybe something that this person did, you found it to be really immature. Because whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, that can indicate a student. It can indicate youth, or it can indicate immaturity, or maybe someone who's younger than you. Yeah, this person has a lot of passion for you, as we can see with the Six of Wands. Page of Wands can be about a lot of passion. Also, I always excited to be with you. Yeah, but I'm getting for some of you, um, like I said, it's starting to feel like a difficult connection. And it's, you're looking to feel fabulous again, like the star that you are. And you felt rejuvenated and hopeful. That's your type of, that's the type of person you are. Feeling like a star, that's you, Libra. And you don't like the fact that Something's going on in the connection where it, where it makes you feel maybe emotionally drained or like things are just too difficult and something's weighing on you. So you're looking to feel like the star that you've always felt. You don't feel that way coming up or maybe around now because something's going on. Look at the Ten of Wands. This man, he's walking forward. But he's about to fall backwards. You could be emotionally drained by this person. Maybe because they, they're on the immature side. We got this page here. Yeah, so. They're reaching out to you coming up. Or maybe they are now. Page of Wands, they reach out with messages of love. But there's um, some type of immaturity here. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Now with the Ten of Pentacles, it says that you have a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kind, finance, health, all these things should be going well. So you might need to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it and be sure to share what you have. Even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because we all know about that lady named Karma. We get back what we give out. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is with the Eight of Cups, which can mean that you'll choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you. Whether it's a relationship, a job, a neighborhood, there could be some sadness involved. But this separation is in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. 
And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, or living arrangement, trust yourself. Yeah, instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, it can mean that you're the one who will make this choice. Just know that very often one door has to close behind you before the next door in front of you can fully open. So the energy that I'm getting is that with this Ten of Pentacles clarified by the Eight of Cups for the challenge. Yeah, I'm getting that this person, they see you as someone that they could have it all with. Because the Ten of Pentacles is, it's actually the card that everyone wants in a reading. It can be about commitment, engagement, childbirth. It could be about a lot of money. Or it could, it could also be about a second chance. But it looks like because it's with the Eight of Cups, it looks like you could be thinking about walking away. Yeah, the Eight of Cups walks away, they leave behind. They move on. Yeah, something's, I don't know, something's just too difficult for you about the connection or the person. So let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We've got the Eight of Swords and it's with the Lovers. Now the Eight of Swords, you could be holding yourself back because you're afraid to move into the future. Or maybe you're afraid of getting hurt by a new situation. Or maybe for no reason at all, so you have to think through what it is you're afraid of. Because the truth of the situations, they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. Now, it's with this lover's card, which is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. It's possible that when this card appears, you could be feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now the thing to do, the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Yeah, it's to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. But when you get the lover's card, it's saying that it's safe to choose choose love. It can mean that it's a time when love is brought to you in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. So this is either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, you'll be quite happy about how romance is going. Yeah, Lover's card is actually beautiful. Once again, it's that deep soulmate type of energy. Deep soulmate. And it's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini the Twins. Twin flame energy. Very powerful. The lover's card is a it's a partnership, it's a deep love, it's a strength of two. It's a falling in it's falling in love, put it that way. So your outcome, Libra, eight of swords, clarified by the lovers. So your person sees that you're walking away, or they can just feel your energy leaving them. Because there's a strong connection here. The Six of Wands says that, and the Lover's card says that. Your person could be falling in love with you, Libra. Or just, just the chemistry and the magic that you two made. It's just, it's not easy for it to leave their, their energy. 
they feel you pulling away, they feel that you're walking away, or you could be thinking about it. Yeah, and with the Eight of Swords here, it's showing that it could be causing them to be stuck in their head. Yeah. Yeah, they could be afraid that they're losing you. Yeah, so. Or with the Eight of Swords, I'm giving you another download here. You might know that this is a soulmate or a strong connection, but you're just holding yourself back because you're afraid to move into the future with this person. Could be because they're a page. There's too much Im immaturity. And the relationship, it just gets difficult sometimes for a lot of reasons that come along with immaturity. So, Libra, that's a reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There is also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Libra, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong and take good care of yourselves. Please come back and join me for the next Libra reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get these readings, the roles can be switched. You could be them, they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a family member. It could be a friend. Or maybe even a situation. So please take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Libra, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.